Hi, I'm Jim the Monday Man, uh, here with a hot topic. Uh, on the user group, we've seen some activity recently, questions regarding adding a item to a connected board to the proper group. So uh, there have been a lot of discussions here, and I'm going to show you how to do that using Integromat. So this video is going to be a little less edited than our normal videos. <laughs> um, so Please be patient. Uh, I'm not going to cut out a lot of stuff. And you'll just get what I do. All right, here, let's get started. Okay, so I've created these two boards. They're, uh, I created this one first, then copied it and created this one. And uh, I then created this automation. When an item is created in this board, create an item in this board and connect them in the selected board. Now, this portion here, is important because some connect board operations are asynchronous, meaning that uh, they don't necessarily happen instantaneously. So when I create this in this other board, it's connecting it using the connect boards column in that board. So when we run our scenario, we'll be able to depend on that value being there. So I'm going to close this and we'll look at how this works. Um, create an item there and we see that it, it shows up here. Now that's that's fine but if I create an item in this other group it also gets added to the top top group. So that's what we want to change is if an item gets added here we want it to get created here instead. Now there's a number of ways to do that. Um, but the, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to allow the standard, um, automation here to create it here and then immediately move it to the proper group. All right, here we are in the Integromat account. We're going to start with webhook. Create custom webhook. I'm going to come back to this. Um, so we'll just say, let's cancel that. Bring this over here. We want to get the item from Monday. All right, let's get an item. And we're also going to, let's do this. We'll rename this, get board two item. And we're gonna do the same thing to get the board one item. I'm gonna come back and fill this stuff in later. It board one item. Then we want to get all of the groups that are on board two. So list boards groups. Oops. And we'll Get or two groups. We're going to also get board one, but we just need the one group that is attached to that item. So we'll get a group and then we will move the group. Uh, move item between groups right here. All right, so that's all set. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to come back after I set up this webhook. All right, so I have my webhook set up. I'm going to rename this one because I forgot to do that. So rename get board one group. 
and then this I mean, we can leave that the sentence we're just doing the move there so the item we want to get is the item that's coming in the pulse id from the webhook this item is going to be the linked item that it originally created and that is going to be here All right, now we're going to get the linked item and the ID is going to be the linked item here. Um, why isn't that there? All right, I ran into a little issue, so I, uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, so this i ran this um even though it didn't it came back with nothing it now has the field descriptions for for this module so now i can come in here and i can get the linked item here this is an array so we just want the first value okay and we want the group for this item excuse me all of the groups for that for that board so we'll say there's a hundred the board id that we, we want to map uh, we could select the board but this is a little bit better so on this item we want the board id here on we want to get the group or this item because we need the name so the board is going we'll map that again the board ID is going to be uh, the B1 item board right there. The group ID is the group ID that we brought in for board one. Okay, so that will bring us back the name. And now we need to move. We need to move the board two item. So going to get the group excuse me the board id there the item id is from our webhook so we could we could do um do that first one but let's go back to the original pulse id and the group id we want is what's coming through here we're going to put a filter in there and i'll show you that in a second so the group ID we want right there. That's where we want to move it to. All right, so we have, I'm gonna auto align everything. All right, so now we have this set up. The thing I want to add is filters. So we are not doing things we shouldn't be doing. So, and this, if this is called because an item was added by a user, we don't want to use it. We only want the ones that are coming in via an automation. So the user ID will be less than zero if it's from an automation. All right. Um, all right. Now, uh, so we come through here. We want to make sure that we have a linked item. So if this exists, if it doesn't, we're going to just stop. Uh, we can do some more error checking here, but um, we're not going to do that on this, on this scenario. Okay, so we get the item, we get the group, we get the second group. Okay, now we want to basically, this is going to come back with a... Um, well, shoot. All right, we're gonna unlink that, unlink this. I made a mistake, that's okay. We're gonna do that. All right, so we're, we're getting the group for this item. So that gives us the group name. We're gonna get all of the groups for what's potential to move to. And we want to filter, so we're only selecting the group that we wanna move it to. Um, there's a, we could do different ways, but anyway. All right, so we want the name of this group. 
to be equal to the name of the original board group. So that's right here. So those are equal. Okay, I'm pretty confident in this. We'll save this and we'll turn it on. Activate run immediately. All right, so now this is running. Now I'm gonna switch back over to my boards and we'll see how it works. Add an item here. That gets added, added over there. And then we have, we'll do one here. Do Z. Should get added here first. And then when the scenario runs, it should get moved down to the proper group. So there you go. Okay, so one thing I wanted to clarify that I, I didn't show you, and you can watch the video in the description. Uh, we have, I have a link to the video in the description of how to set up a webhook, but I do want to just real quick show you on board to how we're, how we're doing that. So we click at the integrate here and we want to add a new integration. Uh, we're going to do a webhook and it's going to be called when a new item is created. So when an item is created in this second board, we want to call the webhook. So we paste that into our integration there, add this to the board, and that's it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how you set that up. Um, if you decide that you'd like to do this and you want to create an IntegraMap uh, account, uh, if you would, please, to help support our channel, use the link in the description. Uh, it's an affiliate link, and so uh, it won't cost you anything extra, but it does help support our channel. Thanks a lot. Till next time, I'm Jim, the Money Man.